This is going to be an alternative method to solve by completing the square when a does not equal 1. So this is the same problem we were doing last time. I'm just going to solve it slightly differently. Step 1 is exactly the same. Move the constant term to the other side by subtracting 3. So you get 2x squared minus 12x equals negative 3. Now the other way I did it, right here I factored out a 2, but instead of doing that, I'm going to divide by 2, which is the leading coefficient, and I have to divide everything by 2. So I get x squared minus 6x equals negative 3 over 2. So now I'm back to a basic completing the square question. A is 1 again, so I'm going to do b over 2 squared, so negative 6 over 2 squared which is negative 3 squared, which is 9. And I'm actually just going to add that to both sides. And now, this side factors into, shortcut, x minus 3 squared. We've got to add a couple fractions over here. So the common denominator here is going to be 2. So this is 9 over 1. So just multiply top and bottom by 2. Negative 3 over 2 plus 18 over 2 is 15 over 2. And now just take the square root of both sides. x minus 3 equals plus or minus. Again, i got to clean this up. Square root of 15 over square root of 2. Multiply by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. And you get the square root of 30 over the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is 2. So you get the square root of 30 over 2. And now for the last step, I just have to add 3 to both sides. And lo and behold, I get the same answer I got before. So there's an alternative method to solve by completing the square when a does not equal 1.